Hello World. I'm Robin Catling, and this is Right On. Join me in my author journey as I delve into the craft of writing, bringing you tools, tips, and lessons learned the hard way so you don't have to. The trouble with crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is fine. The trouble with crowdfunding is finding the crowd. Platforms such as Kickstarter and GoFundMe turned crowdfunding into a viable business model for all kinds of ventures over the last decade. So what about books? Defined simply, crowdfunding harnesses the power of social networks and the internet to give people the means to raise funds. Crowdfunding can work spectacularly well if you can make a bid based on a great core idea, framed with imagination and enthusiasm, with a great marketing pitch, with compelling products at the end of it, to a realistic, credible and workable deadline, which engages investors with a value proposition they receive at the end of the project. Note how business and marketing savvy you need to be to make one of these fly. You can literally pitch to crowdfund anything from a specialist bit of mountaineering kit to a community centre, from tabletop miniatures to a book. Who do we know in the publishing sector, crowdfunding miniatures and books? Earlier in the year, Brandon Sanderson's Kickstarter project broke the bookish internet. Sanderson unveiled a set of secret lockdown novels that he intends to self-publish outside of his trad publishing contract. His Kickstarter project broke every record. The total capital raised? Just shy of $42 million. Yes, million. As the dust settles, we can appreciate just how he did it. Trust in an existing brand, Sanderson himself, a peerless, if sometimes cheesy, multimedia campaign, credibility, just look at his back catalogue, an existing fan community lining up for more of his work, and a production company of long-time collaborators and employees. Eyes on the crowd. Authors around the world are looking to crowdfunding as a viable route to self-publishing their work, outside of the trad publishing industry. The key difference is receiving the pledge money up front rather than royalties from sales at the back end. The key questions for publishing remain. What will it cost in writing time and services such as editors, cover art, print and distribution? Against this, how much in pledges should you ask for? Will it cover costs? What if it doesn't? Can you meet the project deadline? And, most basic of all, can you find a large enough crowd to fund it? Is crowdfunding for books viable? For a new editor with no back catalogue and no name recognition, probably not. If you're a social media star, marketing genius, celebrity, or have a real showstopper, unique book idea, maybe. It turns out there are no guarantees. Existing authors with a poorly performing back catalogue probably won't make it until they fix whatever's wrong there first. Crowdfunding won't make up for basic product faults, the same for books as any other sector. However, an author with solid name recognition, consistent sales by other channels, and a reasonable following in social media might make the breakthrough with a little effort. Am I going there? Watch this space. That's all for this time. Thanks for stopping by. You can like and subscribe to the channel or go to robincatling.info to check out the blog.